Here's a delta math assignment. We will be sketching a polynomial function from the factored form. And it's not going to be an instant process. That is, I'm not going to go right from this equation directly to sketching the graph. There is some math that I have to do related to the function. I recommend you do that on paper before you sketch out the graph. So what I've done is taken this equation and put it into a Google slideshow, which I will show you how I would go about doing this. So the function is given. I can see that there are four factors to this function. And there should be some questions you ask yourself to help you graph the function. Number one, what is the degree of the polynomial function? What are the roots and multiplicities? How about the end behavior? And what is the y-intercept? So I'll show you how we use algebra to answer each of these questions. First question, what is the degree? It's a matter of adding up your exponents for x. So I have an exponent of 2 here, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. That equals 5. This is a polynomial of degree 5, so it has an odd degree. That will be important when I think about end behavior. Now the roots and multiplicities, I take those from these factors, and I set each factor to 0 and solve for x. So x squared equals 0, so I know x equals 0 is one of my roots or one of my x-intercepts. x plus 3 equals 0. x equals negative 3 will be another root. 2x minus 8 equals 0. We're going to add 8 to both sides and then divide by 2. I get x equals 4. That's another root. And x plus 6 equals 0. <clears throat> x equals negative 6. So now the multiplicities, everything is always multiplicity 1. It will be a single root unless there's an exponent. So I know that x equals 0 is a double root. It has multiplicity 2. But everything else is a single root. So let's graph those roots. Let's put a, a point at x equals 0. That will be a double root. x equals negative 3 x equals 4, and x equals negative 6. These are important points on the graph. But we have to think about end behavior. Remember, the, the, the sign of the leading coefficient will tell you about the right end behavior. This is a positive leading coefficient. Therefore, my right end will go up. Remember, this is an odd degree function, so the end behaviors don't match. Therefore, my left end will go down. Finally, um, let, actually, let's graph the end behavior now. If the right end goes up and x equals 4 is a single root, it will pass through that point. If the left end goes down, it will pass through the point x equals negative 6. And the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0 in the original equation, and everywhere I see an x, I'm going to substitute 0. A lot of times you will get a number other than 0, and you will have to plot that on your y-axis. But in this case, 0 times anything will always be 0, so my y-intercept is 0. Now to finish off my sketch before I go to delta math, remember your um, x equals 0 is a double root, so it's going to bounce there. And it goes a single pass through x equals negative 3. So I'm going to now escape out of this and remember this picture, okay? So I'm going to pull delta math over here, if I can, and I'll try to duplicate the picture using delta math. So it has to pass through negative 6, and then it comes back around through negative 3. It's a double root at 0, so it bounces there and it passes through x equals 4. And I don't know how high or low this goes, but that doesn't matter for delta math. The most important thing is I've duplicated my picture here. Now I'm going to check and see if this is correct. Let's see, how do I check? Here it is, submit answer. 
And yay, I got that one right. So I hope this little screencast helps you.